We bring you another one of our video tours here from the Lake Spear Railroad Museum at the St. Louis County Depot in downtown Duluth. And we've become so sophisticated with these that today's episode even has its own theme song. And I was going to sing it for you. But our producer Josh said these guys might do a better job. Dinner in the diner, nothing could be finer than to have your ham and eggs in Carolina. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, nothing could be finer when you have it in the diner. And our diner is the Lake of the Isles. It's in the collection of the Lake Superior Railroad Museum, but used extensively on our North Shore Scenic Railroad. Its history is incredible. It was built in 1951 by the American Car Foundry Company of St. Louis, especially for the Empire Builder, a train on the Great Northern Railway that went from Chicago through the Twin Cities out to the West Coast. Named after, of course, the Empire Builder himself, James J. Hill. This car saw service until 1961 as a 36-seat dining car. In 1961, they increased the capacity to 48 seats, and it served that way until 1971 and the creation of Amtrak. The car went with the consist for the Empire Builder and was operated now by this National Rail Service, Amtrak. Until 1984, when Amtrak started to get new diners of their own and retired the vintage heritage equipment. And that's when it came to the collection of the Lake Superior Railroad Museum, who sent it to one of our board members and the Escanaba and Lake Superior Railway in Escanaba, Michigan, where it got an extensive rebuild. We're doing a little bit of work on it right now, and that's why it's in the shop. So let me tell you a few other stories about how we use this car, and then we'll take a look inside. Our Lake of the Isles car was one of six that was purchased in 1951 for the Great Northern's Empire Builder train. The others were Lake Wenatchee, Lake Union, Lake Ellen Wilson, and three lakes in Minnesota, Lake of the Woods, Lake Minnetonka, and this one here, Lake of the Isles. Lake of the Isles was special though. Lake of the Isles is down in the Twin Cities, Lake in the Woods is up near the Canadian border, and Lake Minnetonka is also in the Twin Cities. But what made this car special was, of all the cars, five were owned by the Great Northern Railway, only one was owned by its sister road, the CB&Q, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy. This was the CB&Q car. And at one time it carried that moniker. When the car was repainted in the 80s, we went for Great Northern as opposed to the CB&Q. We use this car on our North Shore Scenic Railroad and it's one of the most popular coaches we have. Obviously it is because we're serving dinner, we're serving brunches, we do our murder mystery trains here, we do special event trains. For instance, our beer tasting train has first class service here in the dining car. And we've got other special events that occur too. We do a lot of groom dinners in here. 48 seats is just perfect for a groom's dinner. And let's see, what does a groom's dinner lead to? You have the groom's dinner. Oh, weddings, yes, we've had weddings on this train. And what could be more wonderful than people starting their life together, traveling down the rails in a beautiful dining car. And we have that available throughout the year on the North Shore Scenic Railroad. And you can rent this car, you can rent the entire experience for any kind of event you like. We also do our murder mystery trains and our elegant dinner trains, and you can find that schedule on our website, DuluthTrains.com. Let's go inside. The car is in the shop for a little bit of work, which we've been doing over the winter to get it ready for a new season here on the North Shore Scenic Railroad. Here you see installing carpet. We've also taken out all the tables to make the carpet go in easier. We've reupholstered all the chairs. We put in LED lights behind the original light fixtures. And we've of course also cleaned up the interior and done some painting work as well. Also, we did that on the outside and buffed the whole car. So it's all ready for you to come and see and ride with us this summer on the North Shore Scenic Railroad on the Wetatoma. Oh, I'm sorry, Lake of the Isles. Wetatoma is the name of the lake in the Native American First Nation tongue of Ojibwe. Dinner in the diner or dinner on the couch. Whatever, just make sure you're here tomorrow about lunchtime. We'll drop another of these series of video tours from the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. And in the meantime, thank you so much for washing your hands, covering your face, not touching your face, keeping that social distance. And if you're sick, stay home and watch more of these videos tomorrow. And in between all that, let's take care of each other.